What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of my Nordstrom anniversary sale haul. In today's video, I'm going to be covering some clothing items I picked up as well as some home and I also ordered a couple things. So I will go ahead and leave photos of those at the end so that way you can see everything and I don't have to do a separate video. As always, links to everything will be down in the description box for you guys. So for the fashion items in this video, make sure you go follow me over on Like to Know It because I'm going to be styling these pieces so you can see what they look like on and how I style them. But then through the duration of this video, I'm just going to insert a photo of what they look like because you can't really see the item as I hold it up. So there will be pictures throughout the video, but definitely head over to my Like to Know It page so you can see how I style everything. And I will have a link to that down in the description box. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. So first up, it would not be the Nordstrom anniversary sale without picking up another Barefoot Dreams blanket. So this year I picked it up in this kind of like stone taupey and cream pattern. I did pick up the lighter version last year, but I decided to pick this one up because my dog stole my others. So we have another one joining the collection. I think we own like 10 or 12 of them at this point, but they're just so good, so cozy. And when they're on sale, I feel like it's always time to buy a new one. So we picked this one up. Moving on, I wanted to share with you three shoes, three pairs of shoes that I picked up for my daughter. The first pair are these Uggs right here. They are just very simple, good everyday Uggs. They are kind of in this charcoal color, but what I loved about them is the border around the shoe. Kind of has this metallic sheen to it as well as the heel area. So I thought they were really just a good pair of shoes for winter, especially when school starts up. They did have it in a chestnut color as well, but they didn't have her socks, so I just grabbed the gray. Next up are the boots that she has been eyeing, and they are these little combat boots right here. These are from Steve Madden. They do have them in like a baby bubblegum pink color, but they didn't have her size in those either, so we went with black, and she loves them, which will be perfect because they'll go with anything, right? But they have these really cute, uh, rhinestone patches on them just so cute the other side is a zipper and it's plain but I just I love the way they look they're so cute if you have never purchased Steve Madden for your kids before I will say that I find the brand to run a little bit big for kids she's always a size three but in Steve Madden I find that I have to size down for her so we picked this pair up in a size two and then she saw these online and had to have them because they reminded her of Jojo Siwa and they are these super cute um, sparkly high top shoes but they are almost like false laces because there's a zipper on this side so you don't really have to tie your shoe it's more for decoration um but i think she was just gravitating towards the glitter and the beads that are on it they're so cute um so these are going to be her school shoes this year again these are steve madden so we did pick them up in a size two and they fit her perfectly but I just I think they're so cute. Next up, let's talk about some boots that mama got. So first up, when I saw these online, they just looked like perfection. And I was really, really, really hoping that when I tried them on, they were comfortable, they fit well, they were cut right. And they were, and it was just like a match made in heaven, right? So the first is these beautiful boots and they are in this gorgeous cognac brown color i think they are going to be perfect for fall they are knee-high boots which is perfect i love knee-high boots they're my favorite and they have this really cute buckle detail that goes around the ankle area of the boot these boots are also a pull-on style so there's no zipper or anything which i kind of prefer if they're cut right because sometimes i feel like 
Once the boots are on, the zipper will bulge out around the ankle area and sometimes that just drives me crazy. So these are definitely going to be a staple in my fall wardrobe because I love them so much. And the leather on them is buttery soft. Like I can't even explain how soft it is. But what I love is that it's super soft leather but as you can see, it's structured enough so that way they stand up. I hate when boots flop over and you get that bend in the leather. Now I do hang my boots, but having a structured yet soft boot like this is always a plus. And because I loved them so much, I decided to splurge a little bit extra and buy them in black because black boots, especially black knee-high boots, I find are a staple in your fall and winter wardrobe. So exact same boot, it's got the buckle detail, just a black version. So the next pair of boots are from Steve Madden and they look like this. So if you've been following me since last year, you would have seen that I did pick up a few pairs of these style boots from Steve Madden. There was the black leather with the chain, kind of this color with the chain, and then almost like a sand color. And I wore the heck out of those this winter. I loved them so much. And when I saw that they had the kind of cognac color, but without the chain, I just, I had to get them. The one little detail that's different, it's got kind of like a Western embroidered detail right here, which I think is really cute. It's very subtle and it's also on the heel area, if you can see. But I had to grab these just because of how much I love my other ones and how often I wore them. Now, one interesting thing is on the website, it said to order a half size up because they run small. However, when I tried them on, I got them in my true size, which was an eight, and they fit perfectly. So I'm thinking that if you wear them with thicker socks or just maybe normal socks, you may want to size up a half a size. But because these cuts come down so low, I always wear no-show socks because I don't think it looks that cute when you can see a white sock, you know, in the cut. Um, and no show socks tend to be pretty thin. So for me, an eight was definitely perfect. I will also mention the suede as you wear it, it does stretch out over time. So I feel like if you sized up a half a size, it may be a little too big if you have a narrow foot, but if you have maybe a wider foot, I can see sizing up a half a size. The next pair of boots I got are these super gorgeous, to the knee black suede boots. They go really, they're pretty wide at the top. Again, if you followed me last year, you would have known that I picked up almost this exact same pair, but in kind of like that light sand brown color. And I cannot even tell you how many compliments I got on those boots. Like every single time I wore them all day, people were like, I love your boots. Where did you get them? They are so comfortable. You can dress them up, you can dress them down, yada, yada, yada. So this year I saw that they had a black version. Now this is a different brand, but it's almost the identical boot. Um, I love the heel on it. It is so perfect, it's chunky, it's a good height. And then on this side, you do have the zipper to get in and out. They're just cut so well. And if you haven't had suede boots like this before, I will say the first couple times you wear them, it may feel like they're too tight up in the calf area or around the knee. They do stretch out, trust me. So if you try them on, they feel a little snug. Just remember that they will um, stretch out over time. So don't pass on them, they're so good. I've actually recommended them to several friends and they all bought them and are obsessed. Um, so I'm really excited. I know I'm gonna get a lot of use out of those this fall and winter. Next up, let's talk about activewear because I did pick up several pieces and I think one of them for sure is gonna be a hot item and I have a feeling it's probably going to sell out, but I will save that one for last because we save the best for last in most cases. 
So first up, I picked up the aloe leggings and they are in this gorgeous color on camera. It's kind of looking a little bit more dark, a little bit more blue, but they're, they're definitely that perfect teal color. The style itself is called the 7-8 High Waist Airlift Leggings. I love these. They are so good and you guys have probably seen over on Instagram, Aloe is quickly becoming my favorite activewear brand. I have just fallen in love and they have completely taken over my workout drawer. This top is Aloe, my leggings are Aloe, it's just it's become an addiction and an obsession and I'm not mad at it, but they had these leggings on sale and I just love them. They are so comfortable. I own this style in several other colors and as you can see by the photo on the screen, they just fit perfectly. They come to the right area on your waist. They hold you in, but they're not too tight. You can move on them. I also love that as you move or sit down, stand up, do whatever you have to do, the band doesn't roll. I hate that on leggings. The only thing I'll say is I think the length on these is around 28 inches. So I do get a little um, bunching at the bottom around my ankle. I really don't care. I'm so used to it because I'm five, four and a half. So most leggings on me kind of have that bunching. So I really don't care, but if you're somebody who absolutely hates that, then these are probably gonna be too long for you. Um, but and you know, in my case, I either just leave it bunched up or I just kind of roll it up or roll it under and it's fine. And I also got them in the other color too. This color is called Cherry Cola. It is kind of like a brownish red. It's really, really pretty. I didn't know if I would like them on me just with my skin tone but I was really surprised. They're very, very flattering. I think the color is so pretty. And even in the winter time with maybe a white top or white sneakers or white, you know, just in the brown family, I think you can easily dress these up. They're so comfortable. And then of course, another Nordstrom anniversary staple is the Spanx faux leather leggings. They look like this, they have them every single year. They're kind of wrinkled because I literally just pulled them out of the bag, but they have this shiny faux leather look to them. I have, I think four pairs of these and I always buy them in a size medium, which is my true size. They're very snug, they suck everything in, they make you look flawless. But this year I wanted a pair that was just a tad bit looser, especially in the stomach area, and just a little bit more comfortable. So I decided to size up to a large, and I'm really liking how the, the largest fit. They do run a little small, I've heard. I just find the larges in these tend to be a little bit more comfortable, especially when I'm wearing them all day. So these are always a winter staple for me. So if you're looking for a good pair of faux leather leggings, definitely check them out. I would say size up if you're looking more for comfort. If you are wanting more of that sucked in, hold you in look, then definitely go with your true size. Not that the larger size won't suck you in because it definitely will, but it just gives you that like little bit of extra room in the waistband. And this is probably one of my favorite items that I picked up from the sale from my clothing haul. And it is this super cute athletic dress from Zella. So this is the dress right here. Again, I will insert a photo so you guys can see, but it is black. And I loved that the dress itself had pockets and it's got this really cute um, detailing, so it kind of keeps you cool. It's that workout material that keeps you dry. It's just such a flattering dress. I've seen so many different people and heights and body shapes try this dress on, and it literally looks flattering on everybody. It is such a good cut. I love the kind of sporty, preppy cut of the top area. It's kind of got that like golf top or tennis top style. I just love it. It's so flattering. And then it has the half zip right here. 
Again, it's so hard to see on camera because it's all black, so that's why there's a photo on the screen for you guys. The only thing I will mention is that typically with athletic dresses, there are the spandex shorts underneath. These do not have any type of shorts underneath, so it is literally a dress. So, of course, you can wear, you know, shorts underneath if you want to, but I just wanted to mention that. I think this is going to be a hot item this year. I think it's going to sell out because of how comfortable it is, how practical it is, how form-fitting it is. It's just like that good everyday athletic dress. So the next item, I actually got two of these and they are these black tank tops from Nordstrom. They do come in other colors as well, but what I love about them is they kind of remind me of Spanx and a workout top and a bodysuit all put together. So they're extremely stretchy, which I love, but they also hold you in without being super constricting or uncomfortable. The fabric is pretty lightweight. I don't know if you can tell, you can kind of see through the light a little bit, but when you wear them, you don't see anything, but it just makes you look smooth and they're just good staple pieces to have. And I love wearing these because sometimes I don't wanna wear a bodysuit or a Sphinx like top. I just want a good, comfortable tank top that's going to smooth me out and just be comfortable, you know? Those are great. And I think for the Nordstrom anniversary sale, they're on sale for like 19 bucks. So I picked two up in black. And next up, we have a North Face jacket that I bought for my daughter. I don't remember the exact style. Let me see if it's on the, oh, it's the Osolita jacket for kids. And it comes in three colors. It comes in a coral, a black, and kind of like this really gorgeous icy blue color. But I decided to go with black because black matches everything. So no matter what she wears, it will fit her. And of course, you can't even see it on screen, but... Um, it is super fuzzy. It is so comfortable, so cozy. The outside is the exact same inside, like fuzzy all around. And I think it's just going to be that really good winter coat for her. Now I will say it's a thin jacket. I would say thin. So if you live somewhere where it snows, you're going to need another layer on top of this. But this would be a good kind of insert to a bigger jacket. It never snows here. Our winters, it gets like 70 degrees, 60 degrees, but it does get a little chilly in the evening. So that's why this lighter jacket is perfect for her. Um, and I know sometimes she gets cold in school with the air conditioning. So I think it's gonna be great. I love it, it is so soft. And then I saw this one for adults and I thought it was so cute. So this one is same concept, fuzzy on the outside and inside. It has a half zip right here. It's got kind of like that partial collar and it's just like a pullover hoodie. I love the material. I love how thin it is because sometimes in the winter time I like to layer but I don't want heavy layers. It's just it's good and I can see myself wearing this with some boots and some leggings and just running errands and stuff like that. So I picked this one up for me. I did pick it up in a size medium, which was my true size. It does say it's a little oversized. I wouldn't really consider this oversized at all because on it's almost fitted. There is room, but when I think of oversized, I think of like super oversized. This isn't it. I think if you're gonna wear a sweater or something else underneath this, definitely size up. So next up is another repurchase for me and it is none other than this black Barefoot Dreams cardigan. And the fabric is buttery soft. I love these. I buy them every single year only because I wear mine so much that eventually they just kind of get like overly loved and it's time for a new one. So this year it was black that needed to be repurchased. So I picked one of these up. And as you can see in the photo, they are just cut really well. They're very flattering. I love wearing them with leggings and a white t-shirt. I love wearing them with jeans or lounge pants. Like 
You can definitely dress it up or dress it down. It's just the perfect cozy piece to have. This is another hot item that I think is going to sell out. I keep seeing so many people talk about it and it is this bodysuit from Open Edit. It looks like this. So it is dressy top on top and then kind of tighter spandex bottom. And what I love about this bodysuit is it gives you that perfect tucked in shirt look without always having to tuck in your shirt. It's just great for work. You can easily pair this with some jeans if you wanna dress it down a little bit. I love the cuff detailing right here with the button. So I did pick it up in a size medium. It fit perfectly. It's so flattering on. And I will say the bottom thong area, it does not have any kind of straps. So if you're going to the bathroom, you know what to do. Um, so I loved this so much that I did pick it up in black as well. So this is what the black looks like. I'm definitely that person that when I find something I love, I will literally buy it in every single color, especially black and white. I usually buy multiples because it's such a staple color, a staple piece for me, but I love this. It's definitely gonna be well used this fall and winter. And then I picked up two more of my favorite long sleeve shirts from Nordstrom. They are by the brand Halogen. And if you watched my fashion recommendations for the Nordstrom haul, I think it was that video, I was wearing the black version, but I picked it up in the gray color such a staple for me. I love, love, love these shirts. I always rebuy them every anniversary sale and I think they're on sale for like 19 bucks or something. They're always super affordable. And then I also picked it up in this really pretty burgundy color. I have never owned it in this color yet. So I think it'll be really pretty for fall. I own probably 10 of these shirts and they're all in black and white. I think I own like five and five because I just wear them all the time. They're so comfortable, so stretchy, and I love that they just, they make your body look so good. They're very slimming and smoothing, but definitely not tight at all. They're just like that good tightness, but not being too tight, if you know what I mean. And then I also picked up the this top shop sweater it looks like this and it's got a v-neck right here it's in this really pretty oatmeal color and it does kind of have this floppy half collar situation but it's really flattering when you put the sweater on because it just rolls like that and it's just it's definitely a good good sweater for fall it's definitely oversized i did pick it up in a size medium which is my true size but it's interesting because when you look at the tag it says that a medium is like a size 8 to a 10 and I feel like it fits more like a 6 to an 8 but still being a true medium if that makes sense um because I've tried on tops that were a size 10 before and they're like overly huge on me this is not so um I don't know go with your true size but this is definitely perfect for fall, I love big sweaters. I think this color is sold out already online. I have to double check, but if it is sold out and it's on your wish list, they will notify you when something comes back in stock. I know that I was looking for a pair of sneakers and they were sold out yesterday morning and yesterday evening, I got an alert saying they were back in stock. Um, so anniversary sale items do come in back in stock. So just make sure it's on your wish list. But I love that sweater so much. I did pick it up in this really gorgeous lavender purple color, which totally isn't me. I'm usually not a huge colored clothing person, especially for fall and winter. But I just loved the color so much and I love the sweater that I decided to pick it up in this color as well. So next up, an accessory. I did pick up this Marc Jacobs bag. I thought it was so cute. I love the double strap detail, but I love that you can also single strap it so that way it is long and you can wear it as a shoulder bag. And I did test it out. You can also wear it as a crossbody. 
If you are a lot taller or have a really long torso, it may be a little short for you as a crossbody, but I'm short and I have no torso at all. So it's perfect. It hits right at the hip. Um, but I loved this bag because I really love small bags, but I hate those wallet on chains because you can't fit anything in them except a credit card. And I just, I don't like it. So anyway, I love when I find a small bag that's nice and wide because you can fit so much more in there without feeling like you're carrying a huge bag. You do have one large pocket inside and then you have a zipper pocket on the back. And then you also have a back pocket as well, which I love. I just think this is gonna be a really well-loved bag for me. It's just the right size. It's it's perfect. So I had to pick that one up. Next up, I'm gonna share with you some items that I ordered online. So I will insert photos. So first up, we have these really gorgeous boots. They are knee-high boots and they're almost in like a sand color. They're very similar to the first boots that I showed you, but literally half the price. They are a suede material. I don't have any boots in a light color like that, so I decided to pick them up. The next item is from Rag & Bone. It is a purse and it's very similar in style to the Marc Jacobs one I just showed you guys. But what I love about this one is that it's real leather, which can be really hard to find. I prefer real leather only because it lasts so much longer. I feel like with that fake plasticky leather like this Marc Jacobs one is, it's gonna wear out a lot quicker but I decided to pick this bag up in the mint green color and the white color. I don't own a white or green bag, so I'm really excited. And as you can see by the one photo, it does have a really good deep pocket and it's a rectangular base, just like this Marc Jacobs one. Another fun feature is that this strap is actually detachable. So if you wanna use it as a clutch, you can go ahead and do that. So I'm picking up the green and the white one. Next up are these gray to the knee boots. And again, they're a very similar style to what I have shown you guys, but I don't own any gray boots. So I thought I would pick up a pair. And one, nice feature about these suede boots is that the zipper opening goes all the way to the top. Usually they give you about a 12 inch zipper. So it kind of goes from like your ankle to mid calf and that kind of helps you get in the boot. Well, this one, the zipper goes from your the ankle area all the way to the calf, which is perfect. So I'm really excited for those. The next item is another boot, of course. Like, I do all my boot shopping during the anniversary sale, if you can't tell. But it is this gorgeous chocolate brown knee-high boot. And I love the shape of the heel. I love the chocolate brown color. I don't own any boots in this color. And I've been wanting a pair for so long. And when I saw these, I thought they were perfect. So I'm really excited for these boots. Next up is this black and white flannel jacket. And I do have a brown and white one, but I've been wanting a black and white one for such a long time since last year. And when I saw this one part of the sale, I thought it would be perfect for winter. And it's only 35 bucks, which I think is a really good deal. So I am going to pick this one up. I'm getting it in a size medium. And that is my entire fashion shoe, a little bit of home haul for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you shopped already, let me know down in the comments what you ended up picking up. And if you plan to shop, let me know what's on your wish list. I'd love to know. I love seeing what people get. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.